Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to work with the views, right? So, um, so when we um implemented the, oops, sorry, so when we implemented the serializer, um, to test the serializer really quick, we created um two views, one for the post, I'm sorry, one for the user for the profile and one for the laces of string, right? So in these cases, we use the class, um, the class view in each of those, as you can see, we use class. And if you go to the documentation, you can see in the views, it's okay here. You can see the view that you can do it two ways, the class-based views and then function-based view. So we work with the class based views already. Um, so I don't think um, we have to explain that that much. So we, we work with the class view. It inherits from the API view and there are like a bunch of stuff that you can do with the, as you can see here. Um, here um, you have the authentication classes. Uh, we haven't said that here. So here the permission is that a, in order to use this view, in order to request or call this view, you need to be authenticated. If you're not authenticated, it will throw you on uh, uh, providing error or um, something like that. Hey, you need to log in to get this view, whatever. Um, and we will see that with the authentication part of the tutorial. But, um, but I just wanted to see, I just wanted you to see that. So you have um, like the dispatch matter methods that you can override. You got the um, the get, post, pa uh, put, patch, delete, and all of those. Um, it's it's um, it's it's pretty simple to implement. It will be kind of like this one. So you just like um, customize and modify as you. Uh, according to your needs um but now let's create um let's create a a function one let's create a function based view so um let's let's create a new serializer I mean, we don't want to use the string one let's let's go here let's create a new serializer really quick and it will be for, uh, yeah, for the tag. Um, here, tag. So class, um, serializer, okay. This, it will be a model serializer. Okay, it's, just, it's a simple one, so. Okay, so model serializer. And then class meta model tag. And it was basically like, it's just two fields. We can just put Apple. Let me, just, let me exclude. Also, you can see the exclude. So let me exclude the, oops. Let me exclude the slot because we, we don't modify that one. It actually, um, Oops, as you can see here, the slug, it, it's, it gets created and modified with this, with the save over right here. So, um, let's just close the, that one, let's save, we got the model, let me close these things. Um, okay, um, so we got a circulizer and go here so now let's create um, our function base so let's call it tax api it will take a request and um, something very important when you create like these um function based views we knew we we have to um 
um, basically um, pass to the creators that we need to, well, first we need to import them here. Let's go to the top. So, um, rest. The creators. Let's import a API view and permission classes. Okay, that's the decorator that we need. Um, so yeah, let's go to the bottom. Now. Okay, so now that we have the, we just need to add the decorators here in this board this way. So API view, and then we're going to, um, we're going to handle get and pulse with this one. You also have, you also have spot and delete. Okay. Um, but we're going to work with post. Oh yeah, um, so, um, so here with the, with, with the API view, this, um, this class, so classes, the, the Django view class, right? So, but it has a, it, it has different behaviors, for example, like, the request, the request passed to the method here will be so the request here it will be um rest framework request, not Django's request, and it will use the rest framework response, not the normal Django's Django HTTP response. So the incoming request. Every time the incoming request will be authenticated and the permission will be checked before dispatching the the request and like hand load to the method here. Up to the method. So um it's it's it will be kind of the same thing here. So when we pass the decorator here to get um or the function, um we uh this this decorator basically like wraps your function based um your function like your function like here to the um to the uh django rise framework so so you so the views that you get just making sure that instance that you have is from the api View or the Django rest, not the Django, not the Django. I, th I, I know it sounds a little confusing, but basically like here with this one, we're saying like, hey, I want the Django, the Django race framework instance, not the Django. You understand? That's, that's we basically why we put the decorator view because we're wrapping this um, view. Um, but yeah, I hope that makes sense for you. So if not, just leave it in the comment. I'll try to to explain that. And but I mean, let me show you in here. Uh, let me show you something really quick. I will put the request user, and you will see what I'm talking about a little bit. Um, no, I mean, I will show you that when we're working with authentication, but yeah, but if request, um, oh, we forgot to let the permission class. Permission classes, we, we add, um, is authenticated. Okay. Um, here, if request and method, equals get 
Um, we're getting all the posts, so tags will be tags.objects.all. Okay, now serializer will be. Oh, we haven't imported a serializer. Let's go, let me see. Yeah. Dun -dun -dun. Here. Okay, let's go down. Tag serializer. And we pass tags. And remember, very important, we are dealing with multiple objects. We're going to display so many. And what happens when you set many here? Um, you're creating an and this serializer. So many true. This we return response. Serializer data. Let's save that. Um. Um, yeah, let's, let's go to image. Let's go to the URL. Let's add that very quick. Um, here, let me check. Um, Dax API. Comma. Uh, tape API get tax or um, tax, right? Because we're going to, I don't know. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so, comma tax API name API tax, right? Okay, so we got that. Let's save. Um, we don't we don't need to add as view because we are using the we are using the function base. So in the function base, you don't need to add that. So we just leave it like that. Um, let's close that. Let me check that. Oh, we have an error here. Decorate decorators. Let me check. It's probably I have I misspelled that. Oh, quick. Um, wrong rest framework. Uh, the decorator. Yeah. Let me check. Name for our name information. Oh, this is not from the from the permission. Oh, permission, not permissions. Let's go here. Let's fix that here. Okay, so now let's try that. So it's API tag. Check. Uh, did I call it run? Let me see. Oh, it's tags. Any tags not defined. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's tag. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got the tags. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, etc. Um. Okay. So. Um. See how many we have here. We have thirty. Um. There is a. I mean, I have it here. So. I have a plugin in Firefox. It's called um, Open REST. Oops. I, I really like this plugin because you can test your API um, tool. 
here let's 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 let me, let's copy this one so you can see so we have the permission you have to be logged here we are logging we are logged with this user but here not so I'll, i will probably it will probably tell you that hey and yeah as you can see authentication credential were not provided so if you go to the basic here authentication you can put um user Can send a request and you can see we get the user so you can get a like, get possible the data um um let's try with the so now let's let's try with the another method let's try l let me see l l if request that that equal host. serialize oops serializer will be um serializer and then um data well, let's put the request there Okay. So if serializer is valid, serializer that save. After that, we can return response serializer that data. And then So we here we can let's go up let's go to so um we can also like status. Um, um status will be um wait let me see i forgot what we can yeah status status codes um, yeah, we can just, yeah, that's probably, let's copy that here. We can just do that one. Oh. Oops. Let's Status that um, HTTP is like it's all cap capitalized. HTTP four one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see if that works. Save that. Um, so now let's go uh, see here. Uh, really quick um okay so here we have the thing host okay so now here with the rest this extension you need to specify the con content type we are sending a json so location JSON, after logging, and oh, we need to put this post. So here, post, and here, 
the, the field title that's the field um and then let's put uh, i don't know new tag run api stripe here we go and as you can see 201 created the this is the id 31 then let's get a get so we can try that and we can delete that let's click it it should be uh yeah as, as you can see new tag from api um yeah that's it and you can do that for all the put and delete and all of that um yeah this is it um this is it for now for the functions and you can see we work with the class base view and with the function base view um if you have any question and anything just let me know in the comment i'll try my best to respond to that um yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye